November of 2022, I decided to invest in a personal trainer. I started going with her two times a week, mainly to just like get the feel of going to the gym and kind of getting into that routine because I had never really gone to the gym consistently. So this was my way of like dipping my toes into the water, going two times a week and then going on my own. The rest of the day, that didn't happen. So end of January, 2023, I finally made the decision enough is enough we're going full time so for the next five weeks i'm going to go four times a week before we start let me introduce you to carla my trainer she's been helping me better my form in the gym for the last couple of months and starting this new journey I started day one full of motivation. For me, it's super nerve-wracking to start something new because I'm scared of the atmosphere and the unknown. But since I already knew my trainer and I knew the gym, I felt good starting, which is something I really want to work on moving forward. Although for this video, it's a good thing feeling comfortable. It's not always a positive. Gym was definitely outside of my comfort zone, but that was a fear I overcame back in November when I first started going to the gym. This five-week journey was more discipline-based for me. Damn. Day one out of 30, baby. Day one is complete. I feel really good. Measuring your body before a weight loss transformation is super important, especially when you're gaining muscle and losing fat at the same time. Although there's a common misconception that muscle weighs more than fat, this is actually not the case. The reason why people say this is because fat actually holds a lot more volume than muscle does. In reality, because fat takes up more volume than muscle, if you lose two pounds of fat but also gain two pounds of muscle, the scale might not change, but there will be a big difference in the way you look. Further test how much my body will change in the next five weeks i wanted to try on two different pairs of pants that currently fit me pretty tight in five weeks we'll be looking back at these clips and see how my body has changed definitely this is a transformation that is going to take way more than five weeks we went straight into day number two. I had no time to waste. Honestly, I didn't even do a proper introduction of day two. Every single day that I go with my trainer, I learn something new. She corrects my form. She helps me engage my muscles better as well. And an added benefit is that she pushes me to a point where I feel like I wouldn't push myself. And in the end, I always have a killer workout. I'm changing who I am. I'm making a new plan. Rearranging my life. Day two is done. I felt really, really good while I was doing the stairmaster. Like I felt a lot more energy. Now the first couple of times I was doing it, I was dying. And today, I feel like it just clicked. Like it was super easy for me to do it. <laughs> I'm feeling really good today. I think today is the first day I woke up and I'm like, gym time, let's go. I feel good. Like, I feel really sore, especially my back, because we did whole day, yes, push day. Fuck, I keep, I keep mixing them up. So I'm really sore. Regardless, though, like, I feel really, really good. This week, our first week, we're only doing three days because we started on Wednesday. Today is Friday, so we have a two-day break, and then we start off officially four days a week on Monday. Let's get it, Friday vibes. Although the focus point of this video has definitely been weight training so far, there's a couple other things that I wanted to incorporate into my transformation that weren't just weightlifting. That's the reason why I don't like calling this a weight loss transformation, but rather a mindset shift. There is six major things that I will be doing for the next five weeks, and that includes obviously weight training at least four times a week. But aside from that, I will be spending as much time outdoors as possible drinking 64 ounces of water and lastly actually feeling and fueling my body by eating more protein and following my macros my whole body's dead thank god tomorrow's saturday i need a break <laughs> monday back to carla <laughs> let's get it Another day, another gym. 
let's get it firm day today since day one carla had made me feel so comfortable and we developed a relationship since then but this was so important for me because i didn't have any experience in the gym especially lifting weight therefore i felt super vulnerable when i would go to the gym and i'm so happy this was the case because i feel like it made my progress faster since i wasn't afraid to ask questions or completely fail at what i was doing which trust me i did so many times i just recorded this whole segment i was recording it on time lapse it was on time lapse Ew, why would you get it close to me we're gonna play tennis as our form of cardio today <laughs> alexa pause the music getting ready for the gym part seven i really want to elevate my gym clothing sometime at the end of this week or early next week i had a dreamy shave my mustache and my, <laughs> my goatee off Wait, what time is it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, we go. At about day seven, we did our first hit training, which was like completely different to what we were doing. We were focusing mainly on weightlifting before, especially when I was only going two times a week. But now we were going four, five times a week. We did hit training, and it was one of the hardest things. I did not anticipate it for being so hard. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much harder than I thought. I had to take a little break because I felt like throwing up really, really bad. And just like that, my first full week was done. <sighs> Started a new week. I think it's day 13 today. Yesterday was Sunday and we were gonna go grocery shopping and Carla was like perfect on her timing. She sent me my new macros for the week. I had already been having a very hard time eating my carb macro. In the past, I've done like low carb diets and so I'm eating like zero carbs pretty much and so going from zero to like double digits or triple digits i was like okay she told me pretty much to eat a cup of oatmeal and hit off the week with new macros probably with more weight let's go very chill i guess i was sweating a lot we couldn't short a little bit because ricardo started feeling a lot of pain on his lower back not something that just happened ricardo has been feeling pain in his back for like years been left untreated so today just kind of flared up what i told ricardo was like there always has to be like a low for you to get a high he was like upset about it and i would have been really upset about it too in november when my leg was hurting really bad and i couldn't run i wasn't able to do the sprints and i was like dude like i had to do this today and i wasn't able to and i was super bummed out i remember him telling me like don't like this is not gonna help you at all and so in the same way now like i look at it as well it was a bad day we're gonna do something fix it or maybe take a day off or so no step back does not mean we we're gonna stop this journey another day oh uh, i feel so sore today 
This is literally how I woke up. I made my amino acids already, but these ones I drink after the oatmeal. Here it is. Cheers, mom. Oh my gosh. going with our personal trainer we are gonna do only three days this week and five next week she is busy tomorrow and friday so we're gonna make up the extra day next week i am so glad we are i know next week i'm gonna be dying but for some odd reason my whole body just hurts it's giving me like when i first started working out vibes i feel kind of weak i'm not gonna lie last night i prepared myself some overnight oats because yesterday's oats oh my god they were disgusting just took a bite and they are freaking delicious mm. this is the most delicious thing ever last night i placed an order on amazon for a couple different leggings it's been my mission to find leggings that are squat proof when i first started this video ricardo was recording me doing one of the workouts i was wearing cheetah print underwear you can see everything so i bought a couple yesterday i paid a hundred dollars i'm gonna try them out and show them to you guys they're all from amazon by the way here we go <sighs> i'm going through it today you guys Session, I would feel stronger. I would feel less intimidated. I felt that drive inside of me telling me like Edith keep going You got it push through and on my hardest days Like this one the only thing that kept me going was that little voice inside of my head saying like Edith How bad do you want it get it done and it'll accumulate in the long run? Hey Carla, you killed me today. Good job, guys. Hardest freaking day yet. I felt like it was a pretty normal day. Like I've done hard days before, but since the morning I told you guys I wasn't really feeling that well, so it was really, really hard to keep up with everything. I'm being really true and honest to myself. I think I'm dehydrated because I haven't really been keeping up with my water as much since the day Ricardo got hurt. I feel like it just kind of set back our schedule and I just like stop drinking water. I'm gonna make it my goal for the next couple of days, even if we're not coming to the gym, um, to just really, really focus on my water intake because I know it's really important. I'm glad I still pushed through. I felt like throwing up like dude, three times, but we made it out of life. Today is Thursday of week two. I just received my order of my leggings and I just tried them on for a TikTok and I have good news and bad news. I bought a couple of leggings already from Amazon. None of them have been squat proof. I got a couple more in the mail today and we're gonna try them out. And I got them in really cute colors because if you guys can't already tell, pink is my freaking absolute favorite color. And I've been trying to find cute colors. So this one is from the Sunzo brand. I have black ones in, in this brand. They're not squat proof. And I'm also trying this new brand that's called this. I don't know. I've never heard. I just found them online and bought them. So let's start off with the Sunzo ones. These were the demons that haunted me the other day. So we're going to try the leggings on with these demons. Can you see them? But I don't even have to squat for this, bro. Definitely not squat proof. <laughs> I'm going to 100% return these leggings. Pair number two. Can you see it? Oh yeah, I can see it right there. These ones are pretty much squat proof. You can see like a little bit, but like honestly not even anything. My last update is that yesterday was a really hard day. And Thankfully, it was like the last day of the week. It was only three workouts this week, like I had mentioned. I just kind of like relaxed. I really didn't want to talk about it because it's like, dude, your body is giving you clear signals of how it feels. For example, yesterday, I woke up not feeling well and 
during my workout i could see it i had gone to the mall and i saw these blazers that were so cute but they didn't have them in my in my size and then i saw mini backpacks as well but they didn't have a black one so i ordered them online and they got here today so let me show it to you well, first off here's the backpack it's just a small backpack and black. Pretty much, this is how I walk into the gym every single day. We looking a little crusty dusty in here. I bought this backpack to put my hand grips in here, my tripod, and here are the shoes. I told myself before starting the series, I was like, I'm going to treat myself to gym clothing, gym shoes, and all that stuff if I, like, I'm on track with my macros, if I'm on track with, like, working out and all that stuff. And I have been very, very consistent. Here are the shoes that I treated myself with because I freaking deserve them and they're cute and I don't even know if I want to wear them to the gym because they're that cute and I don't want to mess them up but here they are they're so freaking cute uh, carne, nopales, onions shish, we got it, we got it right like a diamond ah. where you go Here's the OOTD. I'm most likely going to set this up in the gym. Apple Watch. Perfect. Let's go to the gym. First workout of the week. Here we go. Week three, baby. We took an in body trick. I'm so excited that we did that today. such a special moment because I had been recording myself with the back of my camera like this every single time I would walk out of the gym and for some reason on this day I was like let me look back on like the first couple of days no freaking way I finally see progress good morning today is Valentine's Day and I put on this pink shirt underneath my sweater and then I also have this pinky case got one through ten how excited I am to go to the gym today I think I'm gonna like at a solid six literally pure lack of motivation i had enough sleep drinking my water it's just lack of motivation this is where discipline comes in so we're going even though it's valentine's day Yesterday we didn't really follow our macros at all. We barely even ate to be honest. Bought a drink my Aminos. This is the cutest color ever, ready? For the princess. <laughs> oh, drink time. Take a nap. God, because I feel like yeah, I love killer workouts. Like when I come out of the gym, I'm like, I did that. Like I died, but I did that. It is the day. I've been wanting to do this since I started working out. Ricardo is outside washing my bathtub because we don't have a bathtub shower. Is that what you call it? When I first started working out, I bought like 
kind of like those bathtubs you like put together kind of like a pool i guess but for warm showers and i've been wanting to use it for an ice shower and today's the day we're gonna finally do that i'm so excited but i'm so nervous i think my goal for today is to stay in there for i say two minutes because i feel like i've seen other people do it on tiktok that do it for like one minute for the first day but mine's not gonna be that icy it's gonna be just like cold with a little bit of ice she is going to oh. Gotta dig, go deeper. That was pretty easy. <laughs> Good morning. Day like 23, I think today. It's You're Thursday. Crazy. Girl did a good birthday. workout right now it is about to be 7 20 ish around there i decided that i wanted to start trying different forms of exercise we started incorporating like tennis going out for walks and stuff but i wanted to do an actual class so i booked a hot yoga actually it's not hot yoga it's a restored class which is pretty much kind of like stretching i think but i think it's still kind of hard i'll tell you guys afterwards tomorrow i will have officially completed five days going to the gym which is crazy because i went from going zero two times a week for like two months now i'm doing anywhere from like three to five last workout of the week i am running super late so i had a braid on yesterday <laughs> and so now my hair looks super fluffy but i have my hydro and we are going to be doing hit so i know it's going to be super super hard we're nearing our fourth week already like what the heck <laughs> Today is Sunday. This is the first weekend where we're gonna actually go hiking. We've been wanting to do this since weekend number one. I was about to cancel plans because I really wanted to get this video edited. And I got caught up in losing inches, losing weight, losing fat, I guess. And I have been working a lot on my mental health and how I'm feeling inside. I don't feel like I've been really much sharing that with you guys. I'm going to enjoy my Sunday. I'm gonna go hiking. I'm gonna de-stress. I'm gonna put in a little bit of work out you know get some calories out my body I didn't check in with you guys after yoga which was the last like class that i did i tried this yoga class and i loved it on a scale from one to ten i would say the class was literally like a two hard Hardness. hardness i liked it because it was so relaxing I told you guys before a big part of working out is making sure to buy things that make you feel excited and rewarding yourself and so i rewarded myself once again i bought new leggings i bought these pink leggings i also bought these teal ones and then i also bought some blue ones from the same brand i believe i don't know where i left i ended up going for just a sports bra and a sweater <laughs> that zips up in the front with some black leggings because the pink ones i felt like were not fitting the crotch area right so i just completely changed the outfit it's fine because i think it's still look cute like this and i brushed out my lashes they were so crusty but now they're brushed out they're cute they're living for the vibes this is a hydro flask i bought yesterday cute it is hydro dupe yeah. hike time family radio <laughs> play cheese <laughs> we found an elephant! Run up, baby!
bear. Just kidding, it was a bad <laughs> I got so scared, honestly, I was like, fuck, I'm about to run right now. Happy Monday, y'all! This is our last full week, I believe, of me filming this because this is gonna continue on. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, here's the OOTD. This is a new sweater I haven't worn. Good, because I feel like I've been repeating outfits every freaking day, but it's fine. Let's go. Stop with the hoodie on. That's what that means. Put more weight. Too easy. For did you guys have another workout? You know what? I'm gonna dry scoop that right now. Go for it. This is amino. This is not pre workout. I don't care. I'll take okay. it up. Okay. And we're using an overnight oatmeal yeah. container because we have no cups. Which Guess what tomorrow is? What is it? Officially a month. Four weeks tomorrow. Oh my god, no fucking way. Four weeks. Let's go to the gym. And I feel really cute this morning. We did great Ricardo did on me. I did that shit good. You did it. Damn, I caught that side out of the camera. Vitamin D3 shot. I've tried the ginger ones before and they are unbearable, but I think this one should be good. It says blood orange guava. So let's try it out. Ashwagandha has been one of the things I've been hearing about lately, so let's see. Mmm, it smells really good, but I'm still gonna like one shot it just in case. By the way, I don't drink, so I don't even know how to take a shot, but we're gonna figure out through these shots. This was so good! Mm. I don't know if ashwagandha and vitamin D3 and saffron are even good for me, but that tasted really good. I'm feeling pretty happy. Making our post-workout meal. Today, we went to Target and bought some wraps. These ones right here, they're like flatbread things to make that. So, I'm gonna make kind of like a sandwich for flatbread. I mean, I guess it's called a wrap with some black forest ham. We also bought some pickles with... <laughs> Oh, I just dripped all the juice. Those are my favorite pickles. We also ended up investing in light mayo. So we're going to be able to indulge in that a little bit more, but not too much. And then pepper jack cheese. Shish. It's done. Let me do the first taste test because I haven't tried it. I don't know if, even know if it's good. I might add a sauce to it because I think it's plain black. Mmm. So good morning. Once again. Ricardo bought the Broad microphone. He might incorporate some of that into this video since he bought them. It is wads and glutes, I believe. My least favorite. I'm a little baby for the pain on my you legs. Know, babe, I didn't eat, bro. We didn't eat this morning because we were running killer. late. killer workout i took off my shirt because the back was like so sweaty i hadn't realized this is how much sweat was on this region this Ooh, sweat vibes and to me this is super like exciting i guess because i would never sweat before y'all i would do like work heavy workouts and i wouldn't sweat so now i'm like hell yeah come in sweat okay okay booty pop off jeez are you excited of mommy information baby you are 
Okay, I just got home back from the store. I really wanted to do something a little bit special for my trainer because, well, for one, it's our four month anniversary, like in three, four days, and it's gonna land during the weekend. I was like, let me just give it to her early. Plus, it's officially the series is almost over. Once it's a four, she gives me pink vibes. I feel like it's a little bit more muted too. I think this this one screams Carla. Okay, yeah, this one's the one we're gonna do. We're gonna do pink for her. And then at Walmart, I did end up buying a little baggie, some gift wrap card. Look at this cute card. Hard. It says thanks with the banana and then inside you're the best of the bunch <laughs> That's so corny. I know she's gonna love it a hand sanitizer from Sephora, it's like one of those the ones you spray. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do Preparing everything I need for tomorrow morning. Just filled up my hydro flask. I have the gift ready. I'm about to prepare our aminos because we drink these every morning and it makes it more convenient when they're like pretty much in the cup. I only do two scoops of this though. Add it. And then in the morning when we wake up, all we do is just pretty much add water to them and mix them with our mixture thing and drink really quickly. I haven't really been eating like a breakfast at all lately because I haven't really been like super hungry in the morning. But I need to start making my overnight oats again because I can't be doing that. Plus tomorrow we're doing hit, so I'm gonna be dying. So I'm gonna do um, protein oats. These are my favorite protein oats that I was doing last week. You have these Fairlife Core Power strawberry banana ones that I haven't finished, but I did go ahead and I did buy these. So I had been doing it with this one, but I'm gonna try to finish these ones up first. This one has 26 grams of protein. These ones have 30. I have these containers. They look like this. Pretty much I just measure about three ounces of oatmeal on here. And you just put the lid and I cut the bananas and the strawberries real quick Here we are, moment of truth. I'm gonna use the Dior lip oil. Also, we'll see how it holds up at the gym because yesterday you just used it for like a family party. Not even a family party, just like brunch. So, oh no. I feel like this applicator, you really have to like make sure you dab it or you swipe it before you take it out because it takes out a lot and it falls out. But this is how it looks. This is a lip oil. So, we'll see how it holds up in the gym. Billy's out here crying. I'm gonna have Ricardo do a little braid for me. Oh, I also got my lashes done since I last saw you guys. I put pink in them. It actually goes perfectly with my sweater. I have to brush them out. This is the OOTD. I'm gonna go take my pre workout. Not my pre workout, my aminos. I'm so excited. This is our last Monday, but I'm also so sad. Like, genuinely kind of sad that it's gone by so freaking fast Done with leg day Killer as freaking always It's starting to rain now Girl what the heck look Anyways, I think we're gonna go to the chiropractor slash sports massage today. I don't know for me, but for sure for Ricardo because he had a hard day again today. Tuesday vibes. You already know the drill, amino acids. I definitely feel the difference in my body at this point, like 100%. I feel lighter. When I look at myself in the mirror, I look thinner. And I think it's completely opposite to how I thought my journey was going to be. I always imagine this journey being like, if I'm consistent for this amount of time, like I'm gonna look this way. And honestly, that is not how it happened at all. Like I see changes to my body, but not the changes that I thought I was gonna see honestly and this is not to say that like i had unrealistic goals it was not unrealistic about this but i guess i'm seeing changes in certain areas of my body that i didn't even expect to see changes and then i guess that i thought more of the changes would come in 
other parts of my body for example my legs i couldn't care less about my legs before this whole journey but now that i have started working out my legs and you know doing leg day boot day whatever now i see changes in my legs and i feel happy about it i feel proud about it even my butt i feel like obviously all the girls like dream of having a big butt and stuff but like i wasn't one of those girls that would always be constantly checking my butt out or being like oh i want a bigger butt or like i want to be bl like i wasn't really one of those girls but now that i kind of saw the gains start coming in my butt as well i'm like okay i could take more of this but it wasn't like this before so these are some of the changes that have started happening in me but i i measured myself last night And I'm not going to tell you guys the results yet because we're not done. But there's a change. And I think that was my goal at the end of this. Like, let's see a change in inches at least. I haven't weighed myself, but I honestly think I weigh probably the same as before. And that's fine. All I wanted was to see, like, a change in inches and then, like, a change in my mentality, change in all of those things. And although none of those things is perfect right now, it's only been five weeks. This is just the start to a bigger journey. Obviously, a lot longer than five weeks. But yeah, I was very anxious yesterday, kind reliving all of this stuff and i bit my nail off these are my natural nails i've been growing them out since i started going to the gym back in november and i like felt like a little bit sad because i was like dude all my hard work but it's fine it will grow back because i'm capable of these things now right and i can't dwell on things that i can't control anymore so yeah that's my little update on this tuesday let me put on my shoes and let's head out for whole day baby Welcome to officially like the very last day of five weeks. I weighed myself today. I'm having a little bit of a hard time this morning because I always told myself like, okay, this is something I want to do for my health. This is something I want to do to lose inches rather than weight. But like you can't just help but to hope that you actually end up losing maybe just one or two pounds. I weighed myself today and I didn't. I do see physical changes. I do see my face being slimmer and stuff, but sometimes you just want that reassurance seeing it in the scale can't help but to wish scale moves this is the reality this is the reason why i've been overweight so long because it's so hard for me to lose weight i'm gonna indulge in my rice cake kind of reach the gym take out my anger <laughs> with the freaking hair and we're going grocery shopping today too so let's go for this it's cold Woo! so cold mm. let's get it hey this fucking hurting we just stretching keep back a little bit and it helps stretch back go like this keep back a little bit when you go stretch your leg out more keep back there you go Longer. Woo. Like we're kind of taking a break. When a baby saw the freaking song. And that's it. 36 days of eating better, drinking my water weightlifting or doing any form of exercise being outside and just living life like i want to this was the jump start for me it's the kickstart it's the building blocks that are going to create a bigger thing in my life and it's not really about the transformation it's realistically about the process it's about the system that i've created because fitness is not just about working out but it's also about your discipline it's about your motivation it's about your mentality it's a process of you actually going into the gym and actually learning things it's a process of you actually trying new foods it's a process of you actually going outside and testing your limits and I just can't wait to continue doing this for myself. I haven't tried on the jeans that I've tried on at the very beginning of this journey. It's been a while now, but we're going to keep pushing no matter what. <sighs> All right, let's get the jeans. Oh my God, this is so scary. All right, jeans, sports bra. Here we go.
And there you have it. It's not about the transformation. It's about the journey and it doesn't stop here.